Joshua chapter 1. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, My servant Moses is dead. Now proceed to cross the Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the Israelites. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I have given to you, as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, to the great sea in the west, shall be your territory. No one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall put this people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, so that you may be successful wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, Pass through the camp and command the people. Prepare your provisions, for in three days you are to cross over the Jordan, to go in to take possession of the land that the Lord your God gives you to possess. To the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joshua said, Remember the word that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God is providing you a place of rest and will give you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land that Moses gave you beyond the Jordan. But all the warriors among you shall cross over armed before your kindred, and shall help them, until the Lord gives rest to your kindred as well as to you. And they too take possession of the land that the Lord your God is giving them. Then you shall return to your own land and take possession of it, the land that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you beyond the Jordan to the east. They answered Joshua, All that you have commanded us we will do, and wherever you send us we will go. Just as we obeyed Moses in all things, so we will obey you. Only may the Lord your God be with you, as he was with Moses. Whoever rebels against your orders and disobeys your word, whatever you command, shall be put to death. Only be strong and courageous. Joshua chapter 2 Then Joshua, son of Nun, sent two men secretly from Shittim as spies, saying, Go, view the land, especially Jericho. So they went and entered the house of a prostitute whose name was Rahab and spent the night there. The king of Jericho was told, Some Israelites have come here tonight to search out the land. Then the king of Jericho sent orders to Rahab, Bring out the men who have come to you, who entered your house, for they have come only to search out the whole land. But the woman took the two men and hid them. Then she said, True, the men came to me, but I did not know where they came from. And when it was time to close the gate at dark, the men went out. Where the men went, I do not know. Pursue them quickly, for you can overtake them. She had, however, brought them up to the roof and hidden them with the stalks of flax that she had laid out on the roof. So the men pursued them on the way to the Jordan as far as the fords. As soon as the pursuers had gone out, the gate was shut. Before they went to sleep, she came up to them on the roof and said to the men, 
I know that the Lord has given you the land, and that dread of you has fallen on us, and that all the inhabitants of the land melt in fear before you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites that were beyond the Jordan, to Sahan and Og, whom you utterly destroyed. As soon as we heard it, our hearts melted, and there was no courage left in any of us because of you. The Lord your God is indeed God in heaven above and on earth below. Now then, since I have dealt kindly with you, swear to me by the Lord that you in turn will deal kindly with my family. Give me a sign of good faith that you will spare my father and my mother, my brothers and sisters, and all who belong to them, and deliver our lives from death. The men said to her, Our life for yours. If you do not tell this business of ours, then we will deal kindly and faithfully with you when the Lord gives us the land. Then she let them down by a rope through the window, for her house was on the outer side of the city wall, and she resided within the wall itself. She said to them, Go toward the hill country, so that the pursuers may not come upon you. Hide yourselves there three days, until the pursuers have returned. Then afterward you may go your way. The men said to her, We will be released from this oath that you have made us swear to you, if we invade the land and you do not tie this crimson cord in the window through which you let us down and you do not gather into your house your father and mother, your brothers, and all your family. If any of you go out of the doors of your house into the street, they shall be responsible for their own death, and we shall be innocent. But if a hand is laid upon any who are with you in the house, we shall bear the responsibility for their death. But if you tell this business of ours, then we shall be released from this oath that you made us swear to you. She said, According to your words, so be it. She sent them away, and they departed. Then she tied the crimson cord in the window. They departed and went into the hill country and stayed there three days, until the pursuers returned. The pursuers had searched all along the way and found nothing. Then the two men came down again from the hill country. They crossed over, came to Joshua, son of Nun, and told him all that had happened to them. They said to Joshua, Truly the Lord has given all the land into our hands. Moreover, all the inhabitants of the land melt in fear before us. Joshua chapter 3 Early in the morning Joshua rose and set out from Shittim with all the Israelites, and they came to the Jordan. They camped there before crossing over. At the end of three days the officers went through the camp and commanded the people, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God being carried by the Levitical priests, then you shall set out from your place. Follow it, so that you may know the way you should go for you have not passed this way before. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, a distance of about 2,000 cubits. Do not come any nearer to it. Then Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. To the priests Joshua said, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass on in front of the people. So they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went in front of the people. The Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel. You are the one who shall command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant. When you come to the edge of the waters of the Jordan, you shall stand still in the Jordan. Joshua then said to the Israelites, Draw near and hear the words of the Lord your God. Joshua said, By this you shall know that among you is the living God, who without fail will drive out from before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Perizzites, 
Girgashites, Amorites, and Jebusites. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth is going to pass before you into the Jordan. Now select twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one from each tribe. When the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, rest in the waters off the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan flowing from above shall be cut off. They shall stand in a single heap. When the people set out from their tents to cross over the Jordan, the priests, bearing the Ark of the Covenant, were in front of the people. Now as the Jordan overflows its all its banks throughout the time of harvest. So when those who bore the Ark had come to the Jordan, and the feet of the priests bearing the Ark were dipped in the edge of the water, the waters flowing from above stood still, rising up in a single heap far off at Adam, the city that is beside Zarathan, while those flowing toward the Sea of the Araba, the Dead Sea, were wholly cut off. Then the people crossed over opposite Jericho, while all Israel was crossing over on dry ground. The priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan until the entire nation finished crossing over the Jordan. Joshua chapter 4 When the entire nation had finished crossing over the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, Select twelve men from the people, one from each tribe, and command them, Take twelve stones from here out of the middle of the Jordan, from the place where the priest's feet stood. Carry them over with you, and lay them down in the place where you camp tonight. Then Joshua summoned the twelve men from the Israelites whom he had appointed, one from each tribe. Joshua said to them, Pass on before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan, and each of you take up a stone on his shoulder, one for each of the tribes of the Israelites, so that this may be a sign among you. When your children ask in time to come, What do those stones mean to you? Then you shall tell them that the waters of the Jordan were cut off in front of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. When it crossed over the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. So these stories shall be to the Israelites a memorial forever. The Israelites did as Joshua commanded. They took up twelve stones out of the middle of the Jordan, according to to the number of the tribes of the Israelites, as the Lord told Joshua, carried them over with them to the place where they camped and laid them down there. Joshua set up twelve stones in the middle of the Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant had stood, and they are there to this day. The priests who bore the Ark remained standing in the middle of the Jordan, until everything was finished that the Lord commanded Joshua to tell the people. According to all that Moses had commanded Joshua, the people crossed over in haste. As soon as all the people had finished crossing over, the ark of the Lord and the priests crossed over in front of the people. The Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh crossed over armed before the Israelites, as Moses had ordered them. About 40,000 armed for war crossed over before the Lord to the plains of Jericho for battle. On that day, the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel, and they stood in awe of him, as they had stood in awe of Moses all the days of his life. The Lord said to Joshua, Command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant to come up out of the Jordan. Joshua therefore commanded the priests, Come up out of the Jordan. When the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came up from the middle of the Jordan, and the soles of the priests' feet touched dry ground, the waters of the Jordan returned to their place and overflowed all its banks as before. The people came up out of the Jordan on the tenth day of the first month, and they camped in Gilgal on the east border of Jericho. 
those twelve stones, which they had taken out of the Jordan, Joshua set up in Gilgal, saying to the Israelites, When your children ask their parents in time to come, What do these stones mean? Then you shall let your children know. Israel crossed over the Jordan here on dry ground. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of the Jordan for you until you crossed over, as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which he dried up for us until we crossed over, so that all the peoples of the earth may know that the hand of the Lord is mighty, and so that you may fear the Lord your God forever. Joshua chapter 5. When all the kings of the Amorites beyond the Jordan to the west, and all the kings of the Canaanites by the sea, heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan for the Israelites until they had crossed over, their hearts melted, and there was no longer any spirit in them because of the Israelites. At that time the Lord said to Joshua, Make flint knives and circumcise the Israelites a second time. So Joshua made flint knives and circumcised the Israelites at Gibeath Haraloth. This is the reason why Joshua circumcised them. All the males of the people who came out of Egypt, all the warriors, had died during the journey through the wilderness after they had come out of Egypt. Although all the people who came out had been circumcised, yet all the people born on the journey through the wilderness after they had come out of Egypt had not been circumcised. For the Israelites traveled forty years in the wilderness, until all the nation, the warriors who came out of Egypt, perished, not having listened to the voice of the Lord. To them the Lord swore that he would not let them see the land that he had sworn to their ancestors to give us, a land flowing with milk and honey. So it was their children, whom he raised up in their place, that Joshua circumcised, for they were uncircumcised because they had not been circumcised on the way. When the circumcising of all the nation was done, they remained in their places in the camp until they were healed. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away from you the disgrace of Egypt, and so that place is called Gilgal to this day. While the Israelites were camped in Gilgal, they kept the Passover in the evening on the fourteenth day of the month in the plains of Jericho. On the day after the Passover, on that very day, they ate the produce of the land, unleavened cakes and parched grain. The manna ceased on the day they ate the produce of the land, and the Israelites no longer had manna. They ate the crops of the land of Canaan that year. Once when Joshua was by Jericho, he looked up and saw a man standing before him with a drawn sword in his hand. Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you one of us or one of our adversaries? He replied, Neither, but as a commander of the army of the Lord I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped. And he said to him, What do you command your servant, my Lord? The commander of the army of the Lord said to Joshua, Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so.